part of the Nucleus label as Lady Frankenstein. Now, I was given this by a friend, Alex, to watch. Uh, he's a rather sensitive chap. I know he gets upset if I don't mention his name uh, when he gives me a movie to watch. And this is basically a Frankenstein tale. It tells you on the cover, Lady Frankenstein. It doesn't really get away from it much. Uh, we get Joseph Cotton as Baron Frankenstein. We have Rosalba Neri as Tanya, his daughter, who comes back from being qualified as a doctor, a brain surgeon in her own right, comes back to her father's uh, castle, trying to find out more information about his experiments, and she's completely fine with them. She knows what he's trying to do, she gets a little bit of information, and she's as fascinated as her father is with the subject matter. In fact, she wants to be involved in it, but her father, uh, for some reason, just kind of chases her away from that idea. Doesn't really want her to be part of that family business. But of course, uh, as we go in the movie, we get the creation of the monster. We get the monster killing the creator and going on a rampage through the countryside. And we have Tanya taking over her father's work and delving back into the creation of monsters in one way or another. Now, for the fir first third of the movie, it feels very familiar within the typical Frankenstein stories. And it's shot very similar to a lot of Hammer horror movies as well. It has that easy access to it. But I've always thought R Rosalba Neri uh, is a wonderful actress. Uh, rather undersold is mostly just a sex symbol, but I think her performances usually are utterly delightful. And here as Tanya, she has a, a sense of... Uh, mischievousness about her. She's smart, she knows how to manipulate the men in her life to get what she wants, as she does several times throughout the movie, but you also feel as if it's always in the search for what she wants. Not because it's what the men want, but it's just more an ends, uh, you know, means to an end. We also get the side story of the monster kind of rampaging through the countryside and this goes on for much longer than I expected as this monster stumbles across people, killing them and moving on. It adds a sense of kind of dread and purposeful uh, nature of almost like a shark through water. This killing machine is just, you know, going from one direction to another, killing people at encounters. Uh, people that it may feel has wronged parts of its body uh, previously. It's the production value, it's the design, it's the costuming, everything comes together to create a really kind of wonderful looking movie and the transfer highlights that incredibly well. It is stunning, beautiful to look at. Um, some of the gowns that Neri wakes as well, that she wears, is just utterly fantastic. It has that lush kind of production value, but it's got that typical storyline that you, you kind of know what's going to happen. You've seen it all before. It doesn't really offer much in the way of surprises. It does add in some new avenues to take the story, but it never really seems to break free of that typical storyline. I was hoping for something a little bit more than just Frankenstein, uh, but what you get here is Lady Frankenstein, this woman who's just as capable as her father, maybe even better, um, who has more manipulative, who is more twisted, who likes to uh, twist people into doing what she wants, even if it means uh, possibly destroying their current lives. She does it several times throughout the movie and, and I think it's all down to like Neri's performance that makes it so captivating, so interesting to watch. I really thought the transfer was utterly wonderful. It looks amazing. I thought the film was interesting enough my attention started to wane the more the movie went on, um, but for the most part I enjoyed it. I don't know if I'll rush back to check it out again, but I did like the movie. Like I said, this uh, is a release that's worthy of having just because of the transfer and because of the wealth of extras that's on the disc as well. I'd love to know what you thought of Lady Frankenstein. Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.